Euro, Euro, guys, Euro Games 2015. I'm Zaffles. This is Matt, and we are here with Arclight Cascade. So, Hello. what is Ar 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 Arclight Cascade? What is Arclight Cascade? Well, it's a game. Um, we made it over the course of roughly six months. It's like a four-player multiplayer co-op um, slash compa uh, competitive. Um, it's meant to like because none of us really understand like. Um, like online multiplayer, we just thought we'd sit down and make like a nice um, local multiplayer, something you can like, have your friends over, you can all sit down and just hit yeah. each other with light swords. So um, each round goes through multiple different modes. Uh, you've got like a tennis mode, you've got one that's like a sort of three-way tennis or squash. Um, but all the, mo most of the modes are centered around um, smashing up all the enemies and collecting the crystals they leave behind. If you played anything like uh, Geometry Wars, it's kind of loosely based on that. Okay. Um, but sort of artistically, it's trying to sort of replicate the old uh, arcade games with lots of bright colors and sort of that sort of era of gameplay. So, uh, hopefully fun. <laughs> oh, okay. So like, all the, so the arcade games that you're like inspiration there, was there like one single game that kind of... Um, I think definitely Geometry Wars, because Chloe is okay. scary good at Geometry Wars and we decided we want to make a game that we could actually play and have a, have a chance at beating her at. So, we sat down and we made this. <laughs> all right, it was actually cool. the result of um, a Ludum Dare game jam okay. um, up in the Teesside area. Uh, Tom, our programmer, he threw something together in like two days. And uh, we thought it was really cool, and we thought we could like develop it into something that could um, maybe sort of set us up as a, game, as a games company. So this, this is our first ever game. Um, we're packing all games. There's four of us, okay. um, and we sort of threw this together in roughly six months. And we got it on Steam, uh, the Humble Store, which is on the poster, but I put Humble Bundle instead of Humble Store. It's my bad. Oh, okay, that's all right. Um, yeah, it's also on itch.io. Um, it's very cheap because it's our, our it's our first thing, so okay. we don't want to yeah. we don't charge too much for it. <laughs> So, um, is it like a story behind it, or is it just a first person? It wasn't made with a story in mind, but we did tack one on afterwards. It's like, it's in the far future, you've got like, these glassy and alien things invading, and humanity has like this last salvation of pilots in these ships that just it's have these huge energy swords that fight the aliens away. It's awfully cheesy, and it's kind of just like a, it's only there to be like an easter egg. It's not serious. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not really big enough to have like an in-depth story, so that's, that's it as is, that's the game. <laughs> Um, we have actually made a single player mode as well, um, even though it's, its primary focus is multiplayer. Yeah. So if you, if you don't have any friends over, you can just like, go through it yourself. Um, and I put together loads of achievements for it on Steam, so <laughs> that's stuff you can achieve through single player. Cool. So you've got it on Steam and like, so you've got a PC. Are you going to change it to like, uh, Xbox as well? Or? We would love to get it on Xbox and PlayStation. Um, we're waiting back to hear from Microsoft about dev kits. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure if we've spoken to Sony or not. Uh, Tom would know more about that. Um, but we are hoping to get it on console because it would just be great to have that sort of under our belts. And um, we took it to Insomnia and Kidicon, and we noticed that our, our primary demographic seems to be like kids. We didn't design it with a demographic in mind, but like kids seem to really enjoy playing it. So if we can sort of stick it on the um, Xbox Live marketplaces and PlayStation marketplaces, that'd be fantastic. So that's definitely something we'd love to do. Awesome. So what's your, what's your favorite feature of the game? My favorite feature? Um, probably the boost. Uh, the boost feature gets overlooked quite a bit. Um, we do explain it because we have to like talk through the controls at people at first, and they do pick it up. But the boost fe feature lets you sort of like quickly navigate around the arena, and it can it can get you out of some pretty sort of life-threatening situations. So that's probably my favourite feature. That and just smashing everything because it's very therapeutic. Awesome. Especially if you've had a long day <laughs> or a <laughs> yeah. long convention. So anything else you'd like to say to the viewers or audience about your game? Um, if you could pick up a copy, if you're interested in sort of uh, local multiplayer party games, we'd right. be uh, super appreciative of any support. Um, it's on Steam, Itch, and the Humble Store. Um, enjoy! <laughs> awesome, cool. See you guys in the next interview.